I'm Professor John Rolfe from CQ University. I'm here to talk about what the value of arts is to regional communities. So cities across Australia all have art galleries and are very keen to promote them and to many aspire to have bigger and better ones. But the challenge is to justify them and to come up with an economic value for these assets. The proportion of people who engage with art galleries is typically pretty small. And of course, governments have very competing priorities for funding. So it's important to understand why art galleries are so important. Art is uh, a part of human nature. So one explanation for why art galleries are important is that they are helping to reflect something that's really important for people and something that uh, has been around for a long time. The paintings here are from the caves, prehistoric art in France. Whereas, of course, the other painting by Picasso is a very famous painting expressing human emotion. There are other reasons why art has been important in society. Uh, it's often been a very uh, essential underpinning of communicating the importance of religion in different countries, uh, including in Europe, in both Catholic and uh, other churches. Art has also been uh, used by, by rulers and dictators to communicate to the society and their people about why they should be in power and to maintain their power. Other types of reasons why art has been important in the past is to tell stories, particularly at times when people, when there wasn't very much literacy, to commemorate really important events such as the opening of, uh, of Australia's parliament in 1901 to record visual data, to provide social commentary and a straight out propaganda. But we live in a new world now, a world where people can have their information at their fingertips, where it's easy to find entertainment um, digitally, where you don't need to go out and see art to, be, uh, to see something that's beautiful or something that's thought provoking. So what are the real reasons why art is so important, even today, to regional areas? And I want to talk about five in particular. They represent progress, they're a way of achieving, uh, of satisfying curiosity, um, they represent beautiful things, they allow communities to be introspective, and they provide economic benefits. So looking back in history, um, the Renaissance was a period that started from the 1300s and ran to about the 1700s in Europe. And it basically was about rediscovering classical philosophy and scientific insights. And it also represented a period in which people focused on better ways of doing art. One of the important things about the Renaissance was that it had a humanism focus. So it put people uh, at the centre of things rather than necessarily putting religion or rulers as being the centre of things. And as a part of explaining this change of thinking uh, to looking at the better ways of, of making society work, art was a part of the mix. So other really important disciplines were architecture, politics, science and, and literature. And arts, science and music were interwoven as types of uh, learnings that progressive people and rulers pursued if they wanted to better society. Another really important historical trend was the Reformation. So this was a search for freedom from religious and political masters starting in in Germany in the 1500s with Martin Luther. It culminated in a lot of Protestant groups who became very mobile because of the religious wars in Europe and actively searched for better ways of doing things. One group of them moved from Europe to England as a part of the religious wars 
uh, from Germany and from Holland. And then a generation or two later uh, were the pilgrims who then emigrated across the Atlantic into colonising America. So they were after freedom from the English church and from the English state. And art was very important as a way of helping um, those people and those societies to find uh, better ways of, uh, of organising themselves and placing more emphasis on individual development. And it's helped to underpin a lot of Western modern societies over the last 400 years. Another theme that underpins art and the importance of art is how society progresses. Now, one of the ways in which societies progress is to find new ways of doing things. Unfortunately, a lot of the big advances of society have occurred at times when society has been under a lot of pressure, particularly in, in world wars and other catastrophic events. That's when a lot of the big innovations tend to occur. And the reason why it happens is what we call the burning bridge hypothesis. So that when things are, when people are in trouble, when they're desperate to achieve something, that's when they find really novel ways of doing things. And so it's no accident that world wars and the Cold War have developed um, new innovations, such as penicillin being developed in the Second World War. Of course, we don't want to have those events uh, as a way of stimulating progress in our society. But one of the things that we have noticed is that people who have been particularly curious uh, have been those who have generated a lot of science and other advances. So curiosity is something really important to advancing knowledge. And a lot of the people who are very curious tend to um, be very interested in the arts. So there's some overlap between um, training people to be curious or encouraging people to be curious and encouraging artistic expression. Another important reason why arts is worth supporting is introspective. So society, uh, Im improving society is not a one-way street where it's just a, a formula to keep finding better ways of doing things and better ways of organising society. So essentially, soci society is a, uh, like, a, like a bag full of competing interests and ideas. Uh, the politicians and governments are busy trying to select which are the better ways of progressing society and dealing with some of the pressures. And it's very important to have people who are critical because not all ideas work, not all um, new directions are worthwhile. In, a, in our democracy, we have a division of powers between the judiciary, the executive and the parliament or the legislature. And media is typically charged with playing a fourth estate role. So this media has a purpose to be able to be an outside uh, inquisitor, if you like, identifying what's working, what's, what's not working and bringing it to people's attention. But the media is backward looking. It's only reporting things that have already happened. Arts and artists have a similar sort of a role and so, but they tend to be forward looking. So they're considering what could be done. So arts is an important way of being critical in a, in a positive way about what's happening in society and what could happen. So painting, sculpture, music, literature, all play a role in communicating how, how it feels to exist in society at a time how to change opinions, install values, and it allows people from different cultures and different times to communicate with each other. So art helps to allow society to operate and it helps to identify what are the things, what are the changes in society that are more viable and more worthwhile. As well as that, uh, engaging in art is something that is very essential to people. Uh, so it's something that makes us human and it's something that's been around since Neolithic times. So art is a, 
is reflecting something that makes people interesting and makes society interesting. So without uh, those types of drivers, people would be very boring uh, and, and very mechanical. So art is something that's capturing the essence of what, it's, what it is to be alive. So reflecting on that, art galleries are really important for a number of reasons. And, they, and the reason why they're important is that they reflect the culture that we have and the culture that we want to have. So it's identifying that people and societies that have art galleries and support art galleries are societies that are curious, that are wanting to advance, that want to be independent and free thinking, that are prepared to look at themselves and be self-critical, that are wanting to improve knowledge, that understand what it is to be human and to enjoy life. And in many respects, art and artists are also communicating that it's great to enjoy life and not necessarily be too serious. So turning then to the role of art galleries in regional cities, they have four key roles. They're, they send a symbolic message about the type of community that a city wants to have and the dreams of its inhabitants. They play a catalytic role. So historically, arts and sciences went closely together. So a community that supports arts is also likely to be a community that's trying to advance society, trying to bring themes of progress together to make society work a bit better for its members. Arts also has a transformative role. It helps people to appreciate life and feel a part of the community. Um, so, so people who are going through challenges, people, uh, societies where there may be um, mental health issues, societies where people want to encourage each other, these are societies where the arts and art galleries have a really important role to play. And, and last but not least is the economic role. So art and art galleries are really important for attracting visitors, they bring people to regional areas and they help to maintain the attraction for local people to stay there. So the economic drivers provide um, some really important uh, attractions for people. They project a positive image for the community about what type of community and its dreams are. They underpin debates about the community and what directions they want to have. They're essential for tourism. So the picture, one of the pictures here shows the, the Mona Gallery in Tasmania. It's been estimated to create 13,000 full-time and part-time jobs in Tasmania since 2011, simply because of the boost to tourism that's occurred. And the art galleries contribute to social life and well-being. They have spin-offs in terms of attracting and retaining people and help to justify um, why, these things, why these assets should be supported. So the implications for regional galleries Roles, galleries have, in regional areas have changed a lot in the last 50 years. So earlier on they were about building a collection and categorising. But nowadays their new roles are much more about engaging with the community, interpreting how the community thinks about things and what has happened in the community over time, um, providing different insights. They tend to be very important focal points for engaging with tourism which is a major economic driver of many communities. And they help to, get, to bring together different influences in a service economy, different influences in, in people activities, and generate positive economic impacts on communities and the businesses that are within them. So thank you for listening. I originally presented this talk or a larger version of this talk at the Rockhampton Regional Art Gallery. And uh, I'm very passionate about how do we justify and encourage art in our regional communities.